everybody, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own spray paint. It's very easy to do and you don't need much uh, materials. And there's two versions of this, so you can choose which one you prefer, maybe make a test and see what kind of uh, paints you would like to use. So for this, you will need some spray bottles, any kind. I have different styles here. Uh, I've got these bottles that I bought on um, an American website, which is called Paper Mart, because they have um, big bottles like this, and they have several of them. They come actually uh, with a, ki uh, a lid off like this one, a screw on lid, and then you have to buy the spray separately. So. Uh, when I bought them, they used to come in boxes of a hundred, so it's maybe a lot for one person. But I use them for very different things, also for my own makeup. I like to do my own products, uh, using you know um, good products for removing my makeups or things like this. So I use them up quite a lot. Otherwise, you could maybe spread them and share the box of a hundred with two or three friends. Maybe since then. They have uh, smaller boxes, so you need to take a look. But the spray bottles and the sprays here just fit perfectly. You just need to come them down because this part here is a bit too long, which is good because you can probably use them for something else, but you'll have to cut these out um, and they're great. I haven't got any problems clogging and I'm going to share with you why and how I do it. So bottles, spray bottles, you will need also uh, the two versions I'm going to talk about are with using watercolor paint or acrylic paint. So you can use either of the two. Uh, for sure, you won't have any problems of clogging with the watercolors. If you live in America, you can also find liquid watercolors already, um, already to use. They're very liquidy and they're just great. And you can mix and match the colors if you want, don't want to buy all the colors. You can make your own purple using red and uh, blue. Uh, you just need the basic colors and you can do a lot. And what they also have is a shimmer watercolor, liquid watercolor that you can mix with your paints and it's gonna give a little shine to it, a little like if there was glitter in it but without clogging your sprays. So I will put the links, I found them on Dick Blick and I think they do exist at Jerry Artorama, uh, Jerry Artorama. So I will put the two links underneath. Um, that's for the United States, for the under, other countries, I'm not sure. In France, it's really hard to find uh, liquid watercolor, um, but I will try to do the same thing for uh, other countries. So here I've got some watercolor paint, very cheap one, you don't need to use a lot. And before uh, showing you this, I have tried to do the same thing with these paints. So I decided to take one of these, I have another one, out and put it into water. With this kind of very, very cheap paint, you know, the children uh, category, this was $1. I paid this one for $1. It doesn't work because it's really cheap and when you wanna, it, it, you, you, you're having a really hard time mixing it and dissolve it into water. And when you do, there's some kind of residue and that doesn't want to mix with the water and it's gonna clog your bottle. So I would, I would not use this kind of paint to do these sprays, but honestly using very cheap watercolor or even cheap acrylic paint would work. So what I do is I just take an empty bottle and I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna use the green one here some summer colors because I already, ha already have uh, yellow and blue and this this blue is absolutely beautiful. This one has some shimmer in it. I like it as well. You don't really see it because the bottle is more opaque. And you just need to squirt a little bit here and you will put as little as much as you can. Just give it a try. See when it's all shake up. You have to make a test on a paper to see if it's too light you add more. This is why using just cheap watercolor is good as well. You're not gonna um, waste anything. And I'm just going to add water. And because I use these uh, spray paints a lot, I like to fill them up almost till the top. I am living in a little gap so I can shake it better. 
And then what I do is I just put my um, the spray on. And what you need to know also is don't, when you cut it down, leave a little gap here, okay? Don't cut it to be straight up to the bottom. Leave a little gap. Can you see this? Yes, on the red you can see it. Because otherwise you're going to have all the paint there when you don't use it that is going to fall in the bottom of your bottle and this might clog it. So leave a little space and always cut it at an angle. Don't cut it straight, just at an angle. That's also going to be very useful and avoid clogging. When this is done, either you've got two solutions. Either you put the cap on, which what I usually do. I usually put the lid on. It's easier to shake and give it a good shake really completely to make it completely dissolve so it might take a minute or two so i'm going to keep on doing this and i'll be back as soon as i'm done okay i think it's good so i'm going to give it a try i'm going to put my spray on all right i'm going to put this aside and also when i spray i like to use some kind of a box this is a tray actually that I use. Let me go backwards a little bit. This is a tray that I use. Um, a normal tray, something that is only good for uh, my craft room. I put it here. Ooh, I've got too much stuff on this table. And I've got a very small table to work on now. So let me do make some space here. There you go. And I just put some tissue paper on the outside because I want to reuse this tissue paper because I like the colors. Maybe you can see these. There are all kinds of paints in there, mostly uh, acrylic, but I think it could be beautiful for a background on a card. And because it's quite big, I could do several of these. I like to spray paint a lot of things. So this is just tissue paper. And now I'm gonna make a test and I'm gonna use a little piece of scrap paper and I'm gonna see if I like the color and if it's dark enough and because it's watercolor paint you may not see much here right now but because it's watercolor it's going to dry lighter maybe like three tones so for example here I know it's way too light I'm gonna add a little more and this is why I prefer the acrylic version. It's exactly the same thing. It's just, you know, use any kind of, any brand will do for this actually. So I'm gonna put the same, more or less the same quantity that I used before. And I'm gonna shake it again. And I didn't have this kind of green. And I shake it with the spray on, it's totally fine. If you have a cap here, it's even better. The ones sold at Paper Mart, they do have a plastic cap here to go on the spray as well. So, again, a good spray, a good shake. Whoop! Come on, light. What's going on? And I'm going to try... Hold on a second. have a technical problem with my lights. Okay, I hope it's going to be good. And yeah, it's getting darker, so I kind of like this color. I might go for a little darker because I know because it's watercolor that it's gonna go lighter, and I really wanna have a darker green. So if you use acrylic, what I like to use is instead of putting water, I put rubbing alcohol, 91 or 95%, because it dries very quickly, much quicker than water. So for example, what I like to do, and I still have a problem with my light, hold on. What I like to do is color, not only background paper, but I like to color my flowers. So sometimes I have uh, flowers completely done, you know, or paper flowers like these, and I just need to put them down. And I use gloves because it's going to tint your finger, especially if you're using acrylics. And I'm gonna go a little closer here. Uh, it's going to, uh, with the alcohol, it's going to um, stain your fingers. So I would really recommend using some gloves. And with when you use alcohol, it's going to dry very quickly. So you can use them depending on the temperature of your room, maybe 10 minutes later, more or less. 
So this is how it goes. So this is a very subtle green, but I can come back over when it's dry and put a little more or just darken your uh, spray bottle if you want to. And I'm just really making sure that I have this green all over on both sides. What is going on with you? So I don't have any white spots. And again, you can match your colors and you don't have to buy all the greens, all the pink or all the reds, and you can make your own. So that's something really nice to do when you color your flowers because, again, when you want to decor your um, cards or if you are a scrapbooker, you may not want or have the space in your area to buy green flowers and blue flowers and yellow flowers and all the colors so you can buy them only white and then very quickly spray some paint on as soon as you need it or a few minutes before let them dry and use them very quickly on your project that's what i like to do just buy it white or even if it's a creamish color like uh, you know eggshell color it's also fine it's just going not to be so if you're using like reds it may not come exactly the red that you have in the bottle, but it's a very also economical way to buy only one color and make your own as soon as you need it. It's also very useful for backgrounds. So I have a here a stencil and I'm going to use this card and I'm just using here a scrap piece of cardboard here and I'm going to use this blue. And this one was made with acrylic, so it's exactly the same thing. You just squirt some paint in here, alcohol on top, and every time you use it, you need to give it a good shake. Even if you uh, you used it about five minutes ago, give it still a good shake. So there you go. I just need to sometimes just peel off a little bit here. And I'm going to take a little bit of this red. So I'm going to have some kind of a purpley background. So if you're using alcohol, I would absolutely recommend doing this in a very well ventilated area. I'm going to put some more blue. Oops. And a bit more. Yes. So let's see how it turned out. I think I moved my stencil. There you go. So it's really nice. You can always blot off the excess if you wish. You can do this on cardstock or watercolor paper. That's totally up to you. But look at this background. It's really easy. You didn't need much. It's beautiful as is. You can stamp over it as soon as it's done, especially if you're using watercolor. I have used also, I have tried using food coloring, but it's really too light and it's going to go even lighter later on. So I'm not too crazy about watercolor into water because it's going to dissolve very quickly. So this is the way I've done this one. And maybe you can see in my, um, in my blue, I have a little bit of shimmer. I need to go a little closer. You might see there's a little bit of shimmer. I don't know if it's going to come on uh, on camera, but just a tiny bit. Don't put glitter in here because it's going to clog your uh, your spray. So that's really, really easy to do. Again, my favorite because the colors are much deeper or much, um, yeah, much deeper. I prefer using acrylics and alcohol or you can use acrylics and water as well don't use hot water though only cold water because the hot water is going to like kind of cook your acrylics and it may clog so the other solution if you're really afraid of clogging your sprays is every time as soon as you're done using it i mean you can spray a whole bunch of things at a time when you're over take your spray off Put the lid back on your bottle so it's going to stay like this and i've cut these 
look at this bottle how old it this is I mean it's all yicky but it's still working I'm gonna do this on another card and let me do this on this one I don't know yet what I'm gonna do um, let's see I've got another stencil so I'm gonna use this flower and it's still working and this one is not from paper mark it's one I've bought somewhere in a craft store and I'm gonna mix that up with some green a little bit more here and maybe a tiny bit of red I'm trying not to put that much on my leaves I want to keep them green all right now I'm gonna take my stencil off and there you go and maybe you could use the negative part how cute is that and it's done in minutes really make sure to press down your um, stencil very well otherwise it might go underneath your stencil and I'm going to try to do something here to try to do a negative of my stencils see how it works I'm not sure I haven't tried this off camera before and it's just thick cardstock that I use this is not watercolor come on let's take a look hmm well not totally crazy about this but no I wouldn't probably not use the negative space but if I go back it's still very interesting maybe some brighter colors this is why I like acrylics look at this one and this could be a great for a you just need to put a sentiment afterwards put this on a card and you're done and it was done in what few sprays few seconds and keep this somewhere straight up um, and you're good to go don't leave it on the side because it might leak just leave it up on the right you know like this and you're fine so it's really easy it's really cheap again I like doing acrylics with alcohol because it's gonna dry very quickly you see on this spot here I didn't press hard enough so it, it leaked a little bit but it's fine I'm still gonna use it you know what it's still gonna be fine and very economical and just need some sprays go and check give it a look a look on paper mart I'm not affiliated with them but they have really great products and share the the spray bottles with your friends if you want to let me take a look at my leaves now um, I'm gonna go a little backwards here I'm gonna put my leaves down here they're still pretty much wet so if it's sunny outside I might put them outside to use them very quickly but I know otherwise it's gonna take maybe 30 minutes even more to dry these are a bit lighter but I think it's nice as well to have you know a different um, shades of green that could be very interesting make some other like a uh, darker red for summer colors and this yellow could be nice or an ochre as well and you can have your very own colors no one's gonna have the same very cheap again so I hope this video was interesting you can really give it a try and it's gonna stay on there even if you're using the help the alcohol it's not gonna move anywhere you don't need to varnish anything so if you like this video please give me some thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button to get all the notifications and please share on social medias don't forget you can also write comments if you have any questions or just to say hello and I always come back to you. Take care, see you soon, bye bye.